Yo, what's up, YouTube? Today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to combo with Magic Specters. It's gonna be four different combos. One card combo, two card combo. It goes plus seven with an unbreakable board. You're gonna wanna watch this entire video. I'm gonna show you everything you need to know about Magic Specters. Let's get it. Before we get into the video, I do want you guys to smash the subscribe button. This video will blow your mind. My perspectives are literally tier one, no matter what, the second that this link two gets released. And this link two, I'm not coping. It's better than Electromite. YouTube, today's video, I'm gonna show you guys all the new combos and magic specters. Stay tuned to the whole video. The last combo is gonna blow your mind. Let's get straight into it. I made this post jokingly saying a new magic specter link is better than Electromite. And then after this combo, I realized that it wasn't jokingly, it was seriously. A few minutes later. You can't ash this. This even plays around droll because that's right. That's how broken this card is. This card is just ridiculous. Look at this. Bambuku was special porcupine, to, which is, by the way, is also a custom broken card. This link card is custom. It's not a real card. I'm actually still convinced that when this card gets released, Orthos knew that they're going to put something saying, like, you can only use this effect when you, like, bench 225. because there's no way this card is legal for everyone in the world it's that ridiculously powerful adds two cards and then sends two that you're gonna pen summon this is a plus three already on the spot you're not gonna scale and pen two look what the what now this is a 1.5 card combo so any card like it's bubuku plus any shit card you have that you don't want in your hand because you're gonna discard it so this for, i'm gonna show you guys five combos stay tuned for the whole video this first combo is just one bambuku so it's 1.5 card combo you discard anything else in your hand one of the other four cards you don't care about you then go into magic specter draco and then you go magic specter win tributing the link to like and then you summon fox and then this triggers this is one of the new cards as well what this card says up to twice per turn and when you have a whole hand you're playing a pen deck so you're not just pending like this you're pending the other four cards in your hand like even in scenarios sometimes you summon even a hand trap so keep in mind that typically you have more monsters in the field as well but in this scenario we're just going magic spider draco and i'll trigger for the first one so fox will trigger and magic spider draco will trigger to summon toad so fox will trigger to add tornado and toad will trigger to get cyclone we're not done yet the next play we're gonna do here we're gonna just activate secret village and we're gonna pass if you were a small brain what we're actually gonna do here is we're actually gonna xyz toad and fox to a second minus back to draco now as broken as this link is it does lock you but luckily this card does not say once per turn because this card says does not say once per turn we're gonna resolve it on our opponent's turn and our turn similar to tier limit now this is a one card combo so we don't have more stuff set up but typically on top of this you're gonna have a kieran on your turn as well and a fluria which stops your opponent from summoning any purely xyz any kirstira xyz or zeus or anything of that sort so going first you always set up the uh, xyz lock a spell lock tornado and on top of that cyclone and typically you also set the wind but it's just a one card combo with babuku specifically and with yada you have this similar combo but instead of secret village you have a dynaster and an itali set so you're gonna pass your turn and on your opponent's turn the first card they summon is they're gonna try and use a spell right so of course they're gonna summon a spell use magic spider cyclone you tribute your magic spider draco triggering your other magic spider draco because a card got tributed because a card got tributed magic spider draco triggers so on the opponent's turn, we're going to use the effect to summon Bambuku. Bambuku will then use the effect to search Porcupine. Porcupine's effect is a quick effect on any player's turn, which is ridiculous. We're going to then use Porcupine on the opponent's turn to summon back and set our e Because the e will set us up every single turn. The next card our opponent plays is they're going to want to activate a spell, obviously. So they're going to put spells in the, or monsters in the field. Then you can go Tornado. So they're still locked out of spells. And then Tornado, we now destroyed a monster in the field, banished a monster in the field, and triggering the second effect of Draco is not once per turn, it's twice per turn. And what will this summon? Kirin. Why am I putting Kirin, a banned card out here? If you read my respect to Draco, it specifically says, if a monster is tributed, wise card in the field, you can detach one material from this card, especially level six or lower. There's no way on God's green earth that Konami would not unban Kirin if they had this card literally say special level six or lower. If they had full intention to keep Kirin banned, they would make this card say special one level four or lower when spellcaster, but they made sure to say six or lower. Specifically on top of that, look at the artwork of Magic Spectre Draco. Kieran is literally on the artwork. This is absolute factual facts that Kieran is getting released. That's it. So 
what does new magic specters do now new magic specters has nine one card magic specter circulars that's right you guys thought Mathematics circular was a problem there's now nine magic specter circulars that ends on four interruptions and the interruptions are not baby interruptions the baby interruptions are secret village of the motherfucking spellcasters no spells ever Ma a custom card magic specter kieran tornado banishes any monster in the field and magic specter cyclone trip destroys any monster on the field those are serious big boy interruptions and then on top of that you have an insane follow-up for one card where you have full scales you have Etelli that you set as follow-up and kieran when it bounces upon his card bounces the bambuku as the best follow-up you could possibly have now i'm streaming right now as i'm making this video for you guys for youtube and Schoolman popcorn says but triff kieran's bad going back to this discussion i just had kieran is 100 getting released there's no reason they would have the artwork of kieran on this card there's no reason they would say level six on magic Spider draco that is game changing in an ulterior universe if you can bet your entire life savings on kieran coming back to las vegas to pendulums this ban list that this deck is legal i would bet every single penny you own which is probably three of them I still bet them all because kieran is coming back now i'm gonna fast forward the rest of the way but we have a bunch of other replays this is still one bambuku still a one card combo but if you look at this last replay this does lose the evenly matched and to Nibiru. One card. So you still have other four cards to stop it. Use Cross the Designator to stop those cards. The only way to stop this deck is Nibiru and evenly matched. There's no other way. An Ash doesn't do shit. An Imperm doesn't do shit. My cards literally can't be targeted. So the way to stop that is by playing, instead of Secret Village, you play Generator, Boss Stage. <laughs> It's still ending on the same four interruption board but instead of secret village your interruption is har and har negates any spell or trap this board i literally only have one spell and trap zone left till all my four boards locked is a one card combo specifically bambuku but yada does the same thing yada bambuku or prosperity similarly opening a two card combo is opening any magic specter or any wind spell caster is even su summon droll and use magic specter win or majesty pegasus so then it's safe to say this is almost a, there's 15 cards in the deck that could resolve it as one to two cards then there's one nine card combos and there's uh six other 15, uh six other two card combos so there's like 15 of them and the draco slayer majesty searches anything you want as well this board plays around evenly and plays around nibiru better because under nibiru you still have har as well as the other 15 defensive cards you play in your deck this is another combo where in my main version of this deck i play super heavy samurai and as i said earlier uh, i'm going to show the deck profile in a later video this is just strictly combos super heavy samurai i'm convinced is the best way to play this deck you can play a dd version of the deck as well the reason why super heavy samurai is so broken is you set up a baron to floor before you start but it's not just the baron you set up scales now you can also open waka sushi the fuck this card is instead of the level two and what that does instead of baron it sets up up uh, sets up an omega so you clear one card in your opponent's hand but mainly you get your scales the reason why this is so broken is that you get your scales already there and if they stop your link two, you still play you literally have the scales and now it becomes absurd where a two card combo you get these two to the extra deck that are going to be plus ones and you literally just search the cards you you, you're about a pen summit like pen call dark room felt so broken like you auto win the game but opening any any super heavy samurai and any bambuku or yada set feels even more broken -er. It's a new word in, in in english we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna set up draco with baron baron protects everything i'm gonna search this again majesty pegasus will just discard the, it's a 2.5 card combo this way we set up elfuria elfuria does for those that don't know is it stops your opponent from xyz summoning any monster that's not level three which means purely is auto destroyed kishira is auto destroyed you cannot xyz it's a lingering effect you cannot xyz level ones you cannot xyz level sevens you cannot make zeus it, and, and unchained cannot make any dd play you cannot make gilgamesh no dd plays no zeus and this lit decapitates every single deck of the meta but it's you're not just going a furia you don't just lock you don't just debury your opponent for xyz this combo one two car combo as baron to protect from nibiru baron to protect from evenly baron negate to protect any fucking scenario to come up you then have magic specter win Etelli, cyclone tornado 
You locked him from XYZing, and you summon Kirin as well, and you have an absurd follow-up. This was with Yada. If it was Bunbuku and any super heavy samurai, it's Secret Village on top. So you D-Barrier and Secret Village. And you have to remember as well, now this is a five-card combo where you have Motorbike, Call by, Bunbuku, Cyclone, Win. It's an average hand that I just drew to test this out. There's 15 starters in this deck where nine one-card combos. There's nine one-card combos, and I believe it was eight two-card combos, totaling 17 like of different cards. So 17 cards that equal a one or two-card combo, but nine of which are a first-card uh, one-card combo. This board is going to end on Secret Village, Tornado, Cyclone. In fact, I'm going to have so many interruptions that I can't even set my call by the grave. This is a downside of playing board breakers. You can't really set your Book of Eclipse or your Book of Moon because you have just that many interruptions. On the opponent's turn, you're going to have Cyclone, Tornado, called by Secret Village Baron. Dynasty protect everything. On top of that, a double Draco. On the opponent's turn, we're going to go Cyclone to set this. I decided to set win instead of called by because you have so many interruptions that like, I'm just going to keep called by in hand. I have that many interruptions. And then wind will be able to get me an even better follow up by setting uh, summoning Porcupine. Porcupine will set this. I can go Kirin, bounce Porcupine, trigger tornadoes again. Not like it's absurd. Seven interruptions and they're insane interruptions. No, C no spells and no XYZ. -ing. This is D barrier for XYZ with Eradicator. So you D-Barrier and Eradicator them. You're playing Labyrinth, but you're actually playing a good deck. So that's the video. This is four different combos. And every, th this is a one-card combo. This is a one-card combo. This is a uh, two-card combo. And this is just a generic hand where every single... If you, you just open a generic hand going second, going first, I mean, you set up Seeker Village as Eradicator. You set up Elferia, which is D-Barrier. Literally, D-Barrier for XYZ. Only for XYZ. So you only side Elferia against XYZ decks. And then you set up Tornado, Itali and Cyclone with Kirin with absurd follow-up. Protected from Nibiru, evenly matched, protected from everything. If they want to hand trap anything, first off, the magic specters are unaffected, uh, cannot be targeted, so you can't imprimer or veil them. And you literally cannot even ash the Link 2, which is absurd. You can't ash this. This even plays around Droll, because if you get Drolled, you could still resolve your Link 2. It plays around Droll and Ash. <laughs> which is fuck only cards that the only hand traps or defensive card the only defensive card that doesn't play around is nibiru and evenly which is why the super every samurai package is insane because baron stops both it's also if you don't open the baron you can even play generator boss stage instead of secret village making your end board slightly weaker but at least generator boss stage stops evenly uh, uh, like har stops evenly similarly if they Nibiru you, you still have a negate in Har. Insane follow-up plus whatever 15 defensive cards you draw. So your opponent's not playing because they have five cards and you have two to three interruptions plus follow-up. So it's just absurd. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash the subscribe button. We're going to be showing you guys the deck. I have five deck lists to show you in tomorrow's video. And this is a tier one deck. New Magic Spectre is better than Electrum. And I firmly believe that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you guys in tomorrow's video.